Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add PayPal payment to your Squarespace website in 2023. PayPal is a popular and secure online payments platform that allow you to accept payments and donations on your website. By integrating PayPal with your Squarespace website, you can provide your customers with convenient and trusted payment option. So in this video, I'll walk you through the process of adding PayPal payment to your Squarespace website. So let's get started and make sure to stick by and let's dive right into it. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open this browser, of course, you'll have to start uh, by setting up a PayPal business account. So if you don't have a PayPal business account, you will have to visit the PayPal website. Go to the URL section, visit paypal.com. And from there, as an example, you will have, of course, to sign up for a business account. You follow the prompt to provide the necessary information and the link a bank account to your PayPal account. For me, I already have an account, so I can simply go and log in into it. No need to do this at the moment because they will ask me for a code in my uh, phone number and I am lazy to do that, to be honest. After that, of course, make sure to go and access your Squarespace website settings. Open a new tab, go to your Squarespace uh, website, squarespace.com. And of course, again, if you have an account here, you can simply go and log in into it. If you don't, you'll have to go and create an account for yourself. And of course, as you can see, if you don't have an account, you can simply go and click on get started. But if you have an account, simply go and log in into it. For me, I'm already logged in. So I'll simply have to access my dashboard. And this is going to be my dashboard. Here, of course, I can simply go and access any website that I have here. So I'll just access the last website that I made. And here we are. Once we are here, of course, we'll have to go and access the settings on this left panel, as you can see. So go to this left panel and simply click on settings. Once you do so here, make sure to go and look for uh, payments or store payments. If you scroll down, as you can see, we have here commerce, yeah, store payments. So simply go and click on that. As you can see, we have three options that we can choose from. We have Stripe, PayPal, and even Square. So depending on whatever suits you, you can connect whatever you want. So we can connect Stripe as an example. If you click on connect, they will uh, pop out. This will pop out into our uh, uh, screen you can simply go and enter our email address and basically our account and log in into it paypal will be the same and square will be the same so if you look, click on connect you'll have to simply connect to your account as an example sign in into your account uh, by email address and password and you'll be good to go and of course before that make sure to simply uh, change the store you are or currency depending on whatever suits you. For me, I'm just going to leave it as USD or US dollars. And for you, of course, do whatever you want. So for us, in this video, we want to connect our PayPal. So simply connect PayPal business to let customers pay with a PayPal Venmo account or Venmo account. So if you click on connect, as you can see, you cannot connect a PayPal account while in trial mode. So to connect PayPal and begin receiving payments, upgrade to a paid account. So as you can see, I don't have a paid plan on Squarespace. They are asking me to subscribe. So if you click on subscribe as an example, you can select one of their plans. There's the personal plan, the business plan, uh, the pro commerce uh, basic plan, the commerce advanced plan. So depending on whatever you want here, you can simply go and get a plan. If you don't have a plan for like me, you can pay monthly or even annually because annually uh, is better, of course, because it will save you more money. So for example, if you pay monthly, you'll pay this per month. As you can see, but if you pay month annually, you'll pay just this per month. But of course, they will uh, bill you more because they will bill you per uh, year. And as you can see, uh, you can compare from the oh, from those features from here. If you scroll down, so depending on whatever you want, select it and go and pay for that and come back to your website. Once you do so, of course, you can simply go and click on connect. As you can see, I cannot do this at the moment, but you will have to simply, it's going to be like this stripe and like square you will simply have to enter your credentials like your email and your password and you will be able to connect your payment account to your uh, squarespace once you do so of course you will have now the steps to configure your payment settings or your paypal settings so after connecting your paypal account you will be able to configure the settings for paypal, pay paypal payments and you can choose the currency customize the checkout experience and set up options for order processing and refunds and after that 
after you connect it and customize your settings however you want, it's time as an example to test your PayPal payments. So before going live, it's essential or it's crucial to test the PayPal payment for or on your Squarespace website. You can place a test order to ensure that the payments process works correctly and that the refunds are deposited into your PayPal account. After that, make sure to even enable PayPal on specific products or pages. So if you only want to offer PayPal payments for specific products or pages, you can enable or disable PayPal as payments option for each product or page individually. So you can go back here to settings uh, or sorry, to pages here and offer the PayPal for one of your products or some of your products, not all of them, as you can see so here in the shop. I'll simply provide this for this and I'm not going to provide this for other products. It's simply you can go and do that from settings of PayPal. And after all of that, of course, after you uh, see all of that, make sure to preview the changes and click on an example. I'm going to buy this and see if the, of course, I'm just going to choose an example here, uh, like whatever I want. And of course, make sure to go and click on add to cart and see. As you can see, it's added right now. So go to your cart and try to pay. Go to checkout and see if PayPal is provided here. So we'll have to simply go and enter like a Gmail uh, or email account. And as you can see, the developer method. And after that, of course, you can go to the payments and see if PayPal is provided there. If it is provided, that means your tests are uh, or everything is working correctly and you are, should not worry about anything. Of course, if you disable for some products, make sure to go and preview that also and see if it's uh, enabled in some products and disabled in others. And if you, this is working correctly, you will be good to go. So after setting up your payments, uh, your PayPal payments and testing the process, you will have to simply save everything, save the changes and publish your Squarespace website to make the PayPal payments option live. And once you do so, of course, you will start uh, getting your payments uh, on PayPal. And you can always go and check if you, the payment uh, is getting there and you will be good to go. So if you reached this point of this video, congratulations, you've successfully added PayPal payments to your Squarespace website, providing your customers with a secure and convenient way to make online payments with PayPal trusted uh, reputation and Squarespace user-friendly uh, interface. You can create a seamless and professional online shopping experience for your customers. So if you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe for more useful guides. So thank you for watching. And of course, happy selling with PayPal and Squarespace. And if you still have any issues or concerns, you can always, or even questions, you can always leave them down below in the comment section or reach to one of the supports of Squarespace or even PayPal if you have any problem. So I'll try, of course, for if you leave any comments, I'll try to come back to it as soon as possible. So this is going to be it. Thanks for watching again, and I'll see you in the next video.